sponsored by Bet365. Welcome to the Bet365 preview show. I'm Adam Fry previewing round seven of Vodafone Super Rugby. A lot of upsets last week and hopefully this week we'll be tipping your winner all thanks to Tuck's Tips and it all kicks off on Friday night in Newcastle. Waratahs taking on the Sunwolves. Well, the Waratahs are resting a few players which has me worried somewhat. They went over to Japan earlier in the year and just beat the Sunwolves and this Sunwolves side, well, they're hot and cold all year. I do think the Waratahs, even with a depleted outfit, Mac Mason coming into the side, Adam Ashley Cooper being rested in a raft of changes, they're still going to be too good for the Sunwolves. I think last week the Crusaders, they've installed a new belief in their system, defensively very good. And I think you'll see a different Waratahs with a bit of swagger coming there in the Hunter. So I'm going to tip the Tars in this one, 13 plus, and it'll be an easy win over the Sunwolves. The other key Australian match, of course, is the Reds and Rebels. This has got so much about it. Will Genia, Quay Cooper, Brad Thorne, all that drama. But the real drama comes with the Reds' performance last week against the Brumbies. No one could have picked that. I think I picked the Brumbies 13 plus. They just weren't in the game. The Heat really played a factor in that one. But the Rebels, it's an interesting time for them. I think they went over to South Africa really wanting to win the Lions game. Last week, you wouldn't even look at that form. A lot of players out and a lot of players rested. But it was that game against the Lions which showed me that they're going to be a finals team this year. But they'd be feeling depleted. And the Reds have got a bit of kick about them at the moment. They're looking really confident, especially their outside back. Sorti has been a huge standout for mine. Samu Karevi, that leadership role, playing a huge part in his form. But it's just that nature, that grit and that determination of their forward pack, which has been the big surprise. And I think in this one it's going to be a real tough one for both sides. Wallaby selections on the line. I think Michael Checker will be playing a very close eye on this one. I think... My heart says Rebels. I think the Reds could get there. I might even pick a draw, but if I've got to go for this one, I'd pick the team with the start. I am going to go the Rebels in this. I think they'll win just only by a point. Of course, with the Brumbies having the bye of round seven, we look at the draw now. Crusaders taking on the Hurricanes away. Really interesting market on that one. I thought it'd be, you know, Crusaders being very short, but last week's played its toll. I think the Crusaders should win that one. Spoke about the Waratahs and the Sunwolves. Waratahs will do that one easy. This is a game I'd love to sort of watch a little closer. The Stormers, outside favourites, huge outside favourites. They were outstanding last week. And the Blues have been up and down. I'm going to go the Stormers in that one. Reds and Rebels. I'm going to go with the Rebels. Sharks and the Bulls. Well, who knows in this one? The Bulls form's been very erratic. I'm going to pick the Sharks. And, of course, the Haguares versus the Chiefs. Chiefs slow out of the box, but last week... Had an absolute belter of a game. I'm going to go with the Chiefs, the visiting side. If you're going to have a punt this weekend, please do so responsibly and stay tuned here for all the match previews, reviews and highlights on rugby.com.au.